Hey guys, Brittany with Roadside Canines. I am coming at you from somewhere in the woods. I'm out on a trail with a client dog who I'm going to show you momentarily. Um, Jeffro. Just wanted to give you a little sneak peek into some of the really specific stuff we sometimes do when we know it's what owners are requesting or what is, you know, the most appropriate things to work on given their lifestyle with their dog. So I have a little beagle here named Jeffro. Jeff. Um, Jeffro. Come on, bud. Um, good boy. And he, yes, my boy. Good job. He, um, Jeffro's right here. And um, we have never been to this trail before, never been in these woods. We're headed down to the river because Jeffro's owners really like to do some hiking out where they are, out in Dumfries. Um, they live near a big national forest out there and um, they could never trust him off leash, as I'm sure you can imagine for many reasons. Number one being that he's a beagle and Jeffro definitely likes to follow his little beagle nose. Um, so it's super cool to be able to do this for folks who otherwise would have never probably ever been able to have this kind of success with their dog and therefore not been able to enjoy their dog as much as they'd like to. Here we are, a little further down the trail. Jeffro is just chugging along like a good little boy. Likes to pee on stuff, and that's totally fine. And you can see he's not terribly far ahead of me because he knows there's a good chance I might call him. If I call him and he's close to me, he doesn't have to go very far to get back. Um, but he's completely free right now. Like, I'm not asking him to do anything. He's just being a dog, but he's following the rules. And they're pretty simple. You come when I call. Now Jeff Rose down there a little ways. You can see the river but it's a little bit more treacherous than I expected. Come on, buddy. Good boy, let's go. Back up here. Good job, pal. He's having the time of his little life. Good boy. That's my boy. You made it. Look at you, buddy. And this is the picture of a dog that gets to enjoy his life. Hi, bud. <laughs> Silly dude. Hey guys, Brittany here, Ridgeside Canine. It's been a while since I've done any kind of vlog, mostly because Aaron hasn't been on my case about it. But um, I wanted to make this one because I have a little dog right now who's pretty interesting. Um, it's been a while since I've had a dog like this, uh, so I figured I could try to document her journey a little bit. Um, she's with me for three weeks, and um, her name is Anya. She was found by a dumpster in El Salvador when she was a little puppy, um, and some locals kind of scooped her up and brought her brought her in to get some medical care. It was discovered that one of her eyes was too badly damaged to be saved. So she had to have one of her eyes removed. Um, and her owner uh, here in <clears throat> Winchester is uh, from El Salvador and she was visiting some family when she came across Anya in a rescue and um, decided she wanted to, to adopt her. So. She's uh, about two years old now. Her owners had her for um, about a year and a half, and she really struggles with 
a lot of fear, anxiety, um, reactivity towards other dogs, which I've definitely already seen and I've only had her for two days. Um, but generally she's a very passive dog, very stoic. Um, she doesn't really express a lot of emotions outwardly. So I'll give you a little sneak peek at where we're at with Anya right now. So I'm sitting on my front steps. Anya's on a long slip leash. I don't really talk to her. <clears throat> Sometimes I will apply a little bit of leash pressure to see if I can get her to give to it and move forward uh, towards me. Um, but other than that, we just hang out. She's, uh, she's only about 25 pounds, maybe. She's some kind of combination of who knows what, but mostly El Salvadorian village dog and uh, Chihuahua, they seem to think. Um, she's she's kind of neat because she's a real primitive little creature. She um, she could definitely hold her own. Doesn't really need people, so I think that's part of the reason why she's you know not super trusting. Um, and it takes her a while to takes her a while to to warm up because I think she doesn't really see any use for people all that much. She's not aggressive. Um, She's just kind of stoic, wants to do her own thing. But any kind of, it, you haven't seen it yet, but any, any sudden movements on my part at all, I mean, just moving my arm, adjusting my legs, um, she's ready to bolt. So she's a pretty big flight risk. This is a big deal for her just to even come this close to me. <laughs> 